Here we go. Okay, um, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Luo Gangyi, and uh, I come from China Mobile. And uh, today I will share some experience about how to use OpenStack to manage uh, existing virtualization and uh, uh, storage. Uh, here is my contents. And uh, uh, let's begin about uh, the current situation. Uh, you know, China Mobile is the largest uh, telecommunication company in the world, and uh, we have more than uh, 800 million users and uh, more than 100 data, data centers and uh, uh, 100,000 uh, racks in production. And uh, uh, most of our uh, data centers are built on traditional IT architecture. Uh, you know, uh, it's like uh, VMware plus IPSAN or FCSAN and uh, uh, plus uh, x86-based uh, uh, servers. And uh, um, since we are fully turned into uh, OpenStack, our customers and uh, our customers are uh, most of our customers are managers of the data centers and uh, they want to use OpenStack to make everything done. And uh, uh, they want to uh, use OpenStack to manage VMware. Uh, they want to use OpenStack manager uh, SAN and uh, manage existing v VMs and uh, networks and uh, uh, integrate it with uh, existing monitoring system. And also, they want to uh, keep the operation unchanged. Okay. And, uh, but uh, since I'm not that easy, we have uh, encountered uh, these three major problems. Uh, the first one is terrible SAN drivers and the multipath software. And uh, the second one is uh, hard to import existing virtual machines and the networks uh, from vCenter. And uh, the third one is the operation gap between VMware and OpenStack. Okay, um, let's uh, first talk about SAN. Uh, we have uh, integrated almost uh, all, p all popular SAN from uh, EMC, HP, IBM to Fujitsu, Hitachi. And uh, we can see none of these SAN drivers is perfect. The major problem we, we encountered in, include uh, incom incomplete, <coughs> incomplete function, uh, such like um, uh, unsupported uh, of, uh, code and uh, live migration, uh, inaccurate statistics, and uh, uh, unintelligent scheduler. Um, for example, uh, if we have more than one uh, storage pool, the scheduler driver cannot uh, smartly to choose the best one. Okay. And uh, uh, <coughs> uh, besides uh, these, 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 uh, these problems, and uh, the more serious problem is uh, uh, the another two. It's a uh, wrong multipath device and uh, overload on storage port and we will analyze as follow. Okay. Um, let's look at uh, this scenario. Uh, in the beginning, uh, the user attach uh, volume one to uh, VM1. So uh, assume we have uh, four storage ports. So we will have four paths. Uh, the, the path name would like uh, the, the green, uh, the, the green uh, square shows uh, like uh, IP0, long 0, IP1, long 0, and uh, IP3, long 0. <coughs> and uh, uh, these, these four paths will be mapped to uh, four devices like uh, SDB, SDC, SDD, and SDE. And, uh, uh, and the the multipath uh, the multipath software will map the these four four path, uh, four device into one micro device, uh, like the or orange color shows. Okay, um, so let's do a simultaneous detach and uh, attach. 
I presume a, a, a user is a, a, another user is uh, attach uh, uh, is, is detach uh, volume one from from the VM one and another uh, user is uh, attach uh, volume two to to VM two. Okay, and. Uh, um, uh, notice that uh, the uh, you know uh, the, the detach the detach method has two phase. Uh, one is uh, disconnect the uh, clean up the, the path in the computer nodes, and then another is uh, disconnected the volume map and the volume map from uh, from same. And uh, these these two uh, these two paths are asynchronized. So there is a possible uh, we clean up the, all the paths, uh, all the paths in computer node, but uh, the driver didn't finish uh, the disconnection in in send. And uh, and uh, at this if uh, at this, this moment we do another attach, uh, like we we said uh, another user attach a volume two to uh, to VM two. And uh, the the Nova will run rescan again, so the rescan will recover these four paths, like that. But uh, you know the the volume driver will will finish the disconnection eventually, so the the green part will will vanish. And uh, okay, so. This will leave a uh, we call it a uh, garbage pa garbage device and the garbage pa or garbage pass and uh, and more words uh, if we, we we go on we we attach volume three to VM three um, since long zero no longer exists. The operating system will reuse the long zero paths and map them to the to the garbage garbage device, and it is still like the, the 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 orange color shows. And then what <coughs> what was most if we attach volume one to volume uh, to VM VM one again, you know it will. Use the path, use the same path again. So um, you, you you can see from that that the two virtual machines uh, will read and write the, the same device, and uh, it will definitely result in data corruption, and uh, it's a serious problem. Okay. And uh, the solution of, of this problem, uh, uh, we, we have three solutions. And uh, the, I think the root, root solution, solution well, uh, we should add a lock between Nova and Cinder. But uh, uh, since uh, you know, we, we can have several Cinder volume, and, uh, and uh, we, we can have more, uh, hundreds of Nova compute, so the lock is hard to design. And some uh, partial solution would like uh, we can add some wait time uh, after every attach and uh, detach, and uh, we can run uh, some script to periodically uh, check the existing run device. And uh, if we find some problem, we can uh, send an alarm. Okay. Uh, another serious problem about uh, SAN is overload on storage port. You know, uh, unlike VMware, uh, OpenStack maps the host and the storage port dynamically. So there is no way for Cinder to know all the hosts. Uh, all, uh, there is no way for Cinder to know all hosts' information before attaching along. Um, so Cinder will uh, map all the hosts to the same storage ports which are uh, configured in the, the Cinder configuration. And, uh, and in, in some small environment, it's not a problem, but in our production environment, we may have thousands of uh, computer nodes. And uh, if we map all, all these thousands computer nodes to the, 
um, same store storage port. It will over cross the storage port overloaded, and uh, it, when when the overloaded uh, happens, uh, the connection the connection to the lung will um, may stuck and uh, may dead, and uh, the the user will see I/O error in virtual machines, and uh, their file file system will be redundant. And uh, uh, in, in current current single single volume driver, I think it, there is no good solution, and uh, we cooperated with some uh, same ma manufacturer to uh, use use some uh, temporary solutions, uh, such as we can um, plan the the port and uh, store uh, the the host and the storage port map uh, in advance. And uh, we will we can pass the the the, uh, the map to the signal volume to the signal volume driver. So when so it's it's more, it's more like a, a static map, and not dynamic map. And, uh, and uh, we think uh, it, it's not a good way. It's it's uh, every time we add a new host, we we had to. Change the change the map. It's not automatically. Okay, uh, let's turn to VMware integration. And uh, uh, for VMware integration, uh, our customer pro uh, propose three major demands for us. And uh, uh, first one is manage VMware by OpenStack, and uh, they want keep the operation offered by uh, OpenStack uh, similar to vCenter did. And uh, they won't uh, import existing virtual machines, disks, and networks. And, uh, uh, but they, are, they have some problems. Now first, uh, the, the community has no, no, uh, no neutral driver for uh, DVS and uh, standard uh, uh, with which, uh, and uh, uh, you know, uh, OpenStack has uh, no, oh, no no uh, no live migration for VMware and no clone, no uh, incremental snapshot, and uh, uh, another problem is uh, you know, uh, the OpenStack only can see the cluster in VMware; we cannot see. Uh, the ESXi and the uh, uh, the data store and uh, of this 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 has some influence. Uh, you know, uh, maybe a user want to maybe a, a user has uh, four virtual machines of a business a business system and he want to uh, separate these four virtual machines into uh, different ESXi and different data store. To achieve high availability, but OpenStack, since OpenStack do, do not know the information, so the scheduler is uh, totally rely on vCenter, and, uh, and and this is not user wants. And uh, for import for importing existing virtual machines, uh, there are also some problems. Mm, first one is uh, you know. Uh, VMware has no volume model, so um, we cannot import uh, the second disk of VMware to OpenStack, and uh, there is we, we cannot describe the, the volume in OpenStack uh, to to uh, VMware, and uh, the snapshot model of VMware and uh, OpenStack is incompatible. Um, so the the uh, basically the, in the OpenStack, the snapshot model uh, of local disk is a uh, full snapshot, and uh, and uh, but in uh, for for VMware it's uh, incremental snapshot. And uh, another problem is when you, uh, VMware allow uh, duplicate VLANs, but OpenStack do not allow it that. So if we uh, we 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 encountered VLAN duplicates. We we cannot. We can only import one VLAN. 
So it's a not a problem. Um, can see, we can see uh, in communica community version, neutral can, neutron can only support NSX. And uh, Nova Network works, but Nova Network, uh, you know, is deprecated. Uh, so we have to write uh, ML2 driver to support DBS or standard with which the basic uh, pro procedure is like the, bl the, bl the blue square shields. Okay. Um, to make uh, operation of OpenStack more similar to VimWare, we add some uh, dedicated APIs. Uh, these are four APIs we have added. Uh, OS Server Clone uh, is used to clone a virtual machine, and uh, OS Live Migrate VMware is to uh, do live migration in VMware. And uh, OS Snapshot VMware is uh, use the, uh, the VMware ways to do, do the snapshot, do the incremental snapshot. And uh, we, we can use, also we can use this uh, this API to do revert. And uh, the last one is our, uh, OS VMware resources. Uh, this API is uh, used for to uh, inspect the information of uh, the inner cluster, uh, like uh, the, the CPU and the memory of uh, ESXi, the, the usage of the data stores, and uh, uh, how many data stores uh, the cluster have, such, a, such like that. And also, we enhanced some existing APIs. Uh, for example, uh, we add some metadata in Nova Boot, so we can, uh, when we do doing Nova Boot, we can designate the ESXi and the data store. Also, in migration, VM migration, we also add some met metadata to allow user to designate uh, ESX and the data store. Uh, the next problem is import uh, existing virtual machines and the networks from VMware to OpenStack. Um, so to do, to do this, we, uh, we write some scripts. And, uh, the scripts mainly doing is, uh, first we query virtual machines, virtual machine list through vCenter APIs. And, uh, you know, we can, we can, we can uh, dif differentiate them by the, the managed by uh, section. You know, uh, if a virtual machine is created by OpenStack, the, the managed by, uh, by section will be Right, uh, the, uh, the, the value of managed by will be open stack, and if VMware is the another value. So, so we, we can find the, the, the existing resources by, by the query, and uh, then we will query the, the uh, detailed, detailed information about this VM. And uh, when we have this information, so we can uh, create an Nova DB item and create neutron DB item to, uh, so we can create a, 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 a virtual machine directly. And, uh, um, but we still have some remaining problems. Um, firstly, uh, like we said, said before, we cannot import a second disk of, of virtual machine um, since there is no way to Describe it in OpenStack, and uh, we cannot uh, import snapshots. Snapshots, and uh, we we cannot deal with duplicate VLANs, and uh, these problems we we cannot we we did not uh, we do we do do not have the solution yet. Okay, um, for uh, integrating with existing monitoring system. Our experience is uh, extend a cellometer, so and uh, we can implement implement a new sync in cellometer pipeline to fit the format of the existing monitoring system. Uh, if the existing monitoring system uses uh, SNMP, uh, we can add a SNMP publisher, 
and uh, and uh, right as, and we think uh, UDP is uh, uh, preferable for for sending data. Mm. So uh, you know uh, if we use the uh, uh, default if we use default uh, population, we use MQ. Uh, two million data may cause uh, the MQ blocking. Okay, that's that's all my presentation. Do you have some questions? Hi. I would like to know which version of OpenStack are you or running when you face these problems? Uh, Kilo. Kilo, Kilo version? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, we, but we have test Octaka and some, some problems still. It's still good. the same? Yes. Same. And you guys are, are, are running it in production already? Yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Okay, thank you.